I need to I need to get some internet tonight to do some research. Okay, what are you researching? Well, we've been learning about animal adaptations in science. Mr. <coughs> Penny said that we're going to have a contest. We're supposed to find an animal with an unusual adaptation and write a paragraph about it. We'll share them tomorrow in class and then vote on which one was the most bizarre. The winner will revise this cool non-fiction book full of amazing facts about animals. Won't everyone vote for their own? No, you're not allowed to vote for your own. <coughs> I really want that book, so I need to find an animal that is super bizarre. Yep. Well, when I lived in Texas growing up, there was an animal called the Texas Horned Lizard. I, it did something that I thought was pretty bizarre. What did it do? I'm not going to tell you. You have to look it up. I'll go do that right now. Thanks for the tip, Mom. Rob? Wow. Mom, that animal is bizarre. Do you think it has a chance of winning the most bizarre animal of that teaching world? Definitely. Remind me, what was it that makes it so unusual again? I remember that it's something about the blood, but I don't remember the exact details. It is unusual because it has actually let a potential predator taste its blood. Most animals don't want predators to taste their blood. Oh yeah, and the blood tastes really disgusting to the predators, right? So the predator ends up eating it up. Yep, <coughs> but that's not the, even the coolest thing about it. Do you remember how the Texas Hung Lizard <coughs> shares its blood sample with the predator? No, I don't. It squirts blood out of the corner of its eyes. How awesome is that? It can't it can launch the blood stream up to five feet. I think I have a really good shot at winning this contest. Thanks for the help, Mom.